Hey everybody, John Foss, very excited to be talking with Rob Hubel. We're talking about his new film, which is called Spontaneous, which is in theaters and on demand right now. First of all, Rob, just tell us a little bit about the film. Yeah, man, uh, the movie is a, a, a crazy dark comedy. Uh, it's about kids in a high school, uh, very much like this one where I'm uh, on a green screen. Uh, but the kids all start spontaneously combusting, which was my worst fear growing up. Um, so it's this um, really funny, um, bloody comedy just in time for Halloween. Uh, but it's also got this super sweet love story in the middle of it, uh, which I, I was so surprised. I just watched the movie again. And uh, it's such a cool mashup of like that sort of horror and comedy but also this, yeah, just a really great love story also. So I, I think people are really going to dig it. I watched the film and I will say it's funny, but also it's a little bit creepy in the fact that some of the stuff that I'm sure you shot before this whole COVID thing happened, it seems a little too close to home. For example, we're seeing kids being quarantined and, you know, the hazmat suits and all that stuff. W tell me about that. I mean, do you feel like that's a little bit, uh, a little bit weird? Yeah, it, it was, it's, well, you know how movies are made. We shot this like two years ago and we had no idea <laughs> that we would be living through this crazy uh, time of, of chaos. So I'm starting to think that maybe someone on the crew, like one of the writers or the director was a time traveler and, and, and must've gotten mm -hmm. into a time machine or something because yeah, it really feels like we shot it about a week ago. Um, but to me, when I watched it, I just watched it the other day it didn't feel um, depressing or anything like that. It feels like, oh no, it, <laughs> like things could be worse. Kids could be spontaneously yeah. combusting. And so it almost <laughs> to me feels like a metaphor for what we're going through right now. Uh, but they address all of that in a really uh, super funny, super bloody way, I thought, um, which it doesn't, it wasn't like uh, a remind, like, oh no, or, or, you know, a reminder of, of the craziness that we're all going through. It, to me, it feels like, almost like a guide for young people, like how to actually get through this crazy time. And for you, I mean, when, when I like look at your IMDB profile, you have so much great experience uh, and so much success in, in Hollywood. For you, looking back at your career at this point, I mean, you still have so much time to go, but you've already accomplished so much. What do you look back at and say like, man, I can't believe I got to do this? Or what's the favorite, your favorite project that you've had the chance to do? Yeah. Well, first of all, John, thank you for saying how successful I am. Uh, I'm right here and I own my own high school. Obviously, this is nice. Uh, no, if you saw where I am, I'm in my garage. And, uh, you know, um, so all, all things are relative. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've been really lucky to jump around on a lot of different cool shows like The Office and um, Transparent. And um, I just did this thing for HBO this summer. I, I know this much is true. So um I, I love doing comedy more than anything, um, but I've been lucky to kind of have a cool mix of stuff. And the spontaneous to me is like a great example of that. Like it's it's got a, a ton of great comedy, but also like this really cool love story and like a, a really cool sort of dramatic thing going on also. Um, and did I mention that you can find it right now on Apple TV and also Amazon? You did mention one thing that I have to bring up because it's so relevant right now, The Office. I mean, obviously, you know, this, this, this show took place years ago, but it's more pop popular now than ever. And I think it's like the most watched show of all time. What has that been like for you? I mean, are people re like just, is everybody, everybody has to know who you are at this point because we, we're, watch we're, watch we're watching The Office nonstop. Yeah, I, I think because of the pandemic, people are really hungry for um, for comedy right now. Um, and so to have a, 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 you know, I had a little part on The Office. I was Holly's boyfriend. And um, um, so it, it's been a little bit weird because my wife in real life, her name is Holly. And so sometimes no fans way. of the, yeah, and fans of The Office will come up to me and they'll say like, you know, you stay away from Holly. And at first I didn't know what they were talking about. I was like, is my wife mad at me? What, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's been kind of weird, but, um, but yeah, I think people are really hungry for comedy. And if you're, if you're a fan of the office, you're going to love spontaneous. Um, it, it's that sort of like uh, cool 
um, deadpan comedy. It's like really smart comedy that I, I think really connects with people, especially right now with, with all the craziness that we're living through. What would have AJ thought about the way that The Office ended and the fact that Michael won Holly over AJ? Oh boy. Don't even remind me. Don't even remind me. Yeah. Next time I see, next time I see Steve Carell around town, oh, <laughs> I'm going to have my way with Steve. I'll warn him. I'll give him a heads up to uh, get some protection, some bodyguards. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Tell him to get a good body man. By the way, what is a body man? Why are we hearing that so much in the news? What is a body man? Is that a I thing? Know. I haven't heard that. Yeah, I think Trump's body man, uh, you know, uh, tested positive. So they've been talking about a body man. And uh, I'm just wondering if I need to get a body man. Let me know. I think we all do at this point. All right. Well, Rob, thank you so much. Twin Cities, make sure you check out Spontaneous in theaters and on demand right now. Rob Hubel, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me, John. Appreciate it. <laughs>